all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to explore a very powerful package called qr code which is useful in case you want to generate qr code and then also to be able to decode it so qr right stands for quick response which is a simple technology that allows you to be able to store lots of data in a different format so let's see how to work with this particular package so this is an example of a QR code, right? This is how this. So you have been using it. You have been seeing it around, and there is a simple application. Most of the applications are you can find them on your phone. Something like this, that is useful to scan whatever QR code that you have, right? So let's see how to use or create or generate QR code in Python and how to decode it using Python. So I'll go back again to my workspace. So you're using VS Code. So in case you don't have this, it on your system, just go with pip install QR code, right? That is the default installation, but in case you also want to add pillow support, you just go with pillow, right? That is how to install it on your system. So this is my workspace. Let's create a file. I'm going to call my script. Script.py, right? Let's see how to work with it. So there are several ways you can work with this wonderful package. The first way is that you be trying to see how to generate QR code. That's going to be the first stuff. Then the next session, we're going to see how to decode it, right? QR code, right? That is the first thing. So let's see the first method. So I'm going to import the package, QR code as the name of the package. Then from there, I will we'll check the first method. So this is going to be method one, which is the simplest method. This is a simple method. So to do that, just go with something very simple. Just go with your particular image, your variable, and just go with QR code, right? That's the first thing. Then I'll go with make. So with the make variable or the make function, I can paste it in data. So this is some wonderful or say awesome package right right you can put in a url you can put in a test you can put in any particular data here that is it right perfect then in case i want to save or get that particular image let's go with image to save now pass in the file the file needs to look at my first file dot png right so that is it so that is how to work with it simple simplest method now let's go back again to our workspace there's nothing here only my script and in case i want to run it I just go with python 3 then i'll run the script.py if i run this one and i check it back again it has created a file right my first file and i can go back to my folder and i can see the file here and open it so this is how to work with the qr code right very simple right very very cool i can use my phone with this particular software on it to scan it so if i scan it so the data has come the particular data that was there this is um you can see this is some awesome package has been scanned there very simple so that is how to work with it using a first method now let's check the second method so by default it's going to give us black and white and black and white is the best option but in case you want to try a different color you can just go with this so method two is going to be the advanced method Right. So with this particular option, you can just go with the same thing. You create an instance of it. So QR, then QR code. Dot QR code. Right. This is going to be the first one. That is the class you are creating. Right. Then you specify the part various parameters. So version go to one, and then that's version one. So these are all the parameters you're using. So I'm gonna copy all of this thing here, and I'll paste it here so we have the error correction that is going to correct it by itself we also have the constant error correct it can be m it can be it can be l right based on the size the box size is the puzzle not how many puzzles you want in a box and the border is also the border for the box right very simple so that is how to work with this particular packet let me make it like this right so this is how to do that right so you just create a, a variable of that particular instance very simple so sometimes this one will give you an error so you just have to go with care code right that doesn't give you the error so the error is gone right it's, it's inherited from the care code perfect now with this particular one we have created you can be able to do whatever you want to do so let's work on it so that is the first thing so the next thing is that i have to add the data so let's add data data you can add any particular data there so let's go with care dot add data i'm going to pass in be a, a url so let's say https jcarrystech.com right so you can just put in any url youtube link any other data there then the next option is that you have to make it or fit it so make then i'm going to specify that i want to fit it's equal to true 
right that is the next option then finally you can save it you can actually create the image so kl can spell kl dot make image right then i'll pass in the parameter so this make image is going to specify the color that you want to give and then the the background color and the foreground color right but sometimes some of the colors will not work when you are trying to scan with some scanners so make color which is going to be the fill color right so i want it to be black my default is black and then i can also specify the background color so back color now I'll specify that the back color is going to be white right that is all now let's save it so to get our image we just go with we have to store this one into a variable so let's put image 2 then let's save this one as we did above so image 2 dot save i'll give it my second file dot png right that is it so this is how to work with this wonderful package right so you can actually change the colors that you want here so let's hide this one this is going to be the first method and then let's run the code again so as you can see this was the first one now let's create it again so it has given us the next option right my second file so if i go back to my explorer and then i open the second file you can see that it's open for us right it's given us the image and i can also scan it back again and you can see the results right very simple now let's see how to modify the color right so in case i want to modify the color so i just close this one here and sometimes when you modify the color it may not work well so let's modify the color from this to let's say blue right i'm changing the color from blue from black to blue and let's go to my second file two right let's save it back again and now let's see let's run it again now if i go back again second file two we have it as a blue color so we can use that particular option to modify the colors and sometimes when it's blue some of the scanners will not be able to pick it up right it has been able to pick it right it was able to pick it and still give us the same thing right that is that is how it is so that is how to work with curl code right very simple very cool now let's see you have seen the first method of trying to generate now how do you decode them right so we're trying to see how to decode them that's going to be the next option so this is going to be method two so let me create another file so we have them separate it's going to be script decode .py, right to decode the entire stuff and then let's save this one for future use because i want to decode the entire stuff we're using this one so it's going to be how to decode so to decode you're using open cv to help us with that so it's going to be this option so import cv so in case you don't have open cv you can just import it by this option by going to your terminal just go with python open cv right because open cv there's c plus plus there's c sharp there's c so that's why you go in python open cv right okay, so let's go back to our workspace here that's the first thing then in case i want to decode it i just go with this option so let's create as my decoder which is going to be my cv 2 dot kl code decoder right kl code decoder or detector rather so let's change this one from decoder to detector detector right so detector then kl code detector right perfect that is the first thing then we need to be able to actually detect and then decode right so how do you do that so it's going to take in some variables so var r var then this one's going to be the points that we have that is the number of points pairs of then also have some other parameters so let's give it as let's say x or something straight right mm, okay right something like that then to decode you just go with my detector dot detect and then decode then i will now pass in my particular file right then from here i'll pass in my image so i can actually pass in the particular file that i want to open to decode right so let's pass in so you can just go with cv2 so cv cv2 dot cv2 dot im im read right image read and i pass in the file so the file that you want to decode let's say my second file or my first my first file dot png right that is how to work with it very simple right 
and now it's going to decode it. So to get the result, so print reval, right? So it's going to print the particular reval for us. So hopefully there's no mistake. So I'm going to create a detector. I'm going to use a detector to detect and then to decode. And I'm going to open the particular file, right? So let's go back again to our workspace. We still have our script detector. So Python 3 script detector. Let's run it. Hopefully there's no mistake. Now it's going to give us the result that was on that particular file, right? So this is some awesome package, which was exactly the same thing that was on our file, right? Very simple. So that is how to de detect or detect any code using OpenCV. Very simple. So first of all, just use OpenCV, right? Import it, create a detector, then you bring it out. So the point, in case you want to get a point, you can also print it out. So let's go to print. It's going to be the point. It's still going to be like this option. So print point is going to be like numpy iris right and let's run it again so you can see the original test and you see that all of these particular points right very simple and you can also do the same thing for the S sq which is going to be this option so print this let's run it again the straight cure so these are the values right very simple so that's how to generate QR code and then also to be able to decode them. So thank you for watching this tutorial. So in case you have any question or contribution, you can just post that in the comment section below. In the next tutorial, we'll see how to build a wonderful app using this particular thing that you have done. See you in the next session. Stay blessed. And don't forget to check the link below. In case you also want to sponsor the channel, you can also let us know. And check the links below for some interesting materials and some courses on machine learning and then Python. Bye.